It seems like every Pixar film has a DreamWorks counterpart. A Bug's Life has Ants, Finding Nemo has Shark Tale, and so on and so on. These two films remind me of one another for many different reasons. Like to hear it, here it go. In this animated feature, there's this newlywed couple. Their families are like oil and water as one side of the family seems perfectly normal while the other spouse's relatives are the hillbilly farmer type. Life for the married couple is tough because the mother doesn't have kids of her own. You know, still figuring out this mom thing. The lovebirds experience some financial hardship and it's stressful wondering if they're going to be able to pay all their bills month to month. Over the years, their neighborhood became gentrified and their house sticks out like a sore thumb. The neighborhood isn't quite the same anymore and that's the main reason the main character beats down anyone who steps foot on his property. Whenever things get too stressful, the house has a built-in sunroof and allows the main character to get away from all the nonsense. In addition to the relationship between the married couple displayed at the beginning of the movie, this film shows the relationship between an adult and child too. There's this annoying kid who has no friends. You automatically feel sorry for him and you automatically hate the main characters in the movie for slamming the door in his face in his time of need. It seems like when the children in this movie look towards adults for guidance, the grown-ups screw it up. Because of a grown-up, the little kid goes on this dangerous mission in the jungle to find this mythical creature. Don't worry because the mythical creature is perfectly harmless. The bad guy is the person you have to worry about. Back in the day, the villain used to be a larger than life icon. We get some stock footage of his glory days and we learn how everything went downhill and he lost his fan base. Now he's hell bent on proving to the world he's not a has-been. When the main character visits his house, we see his collection of valuable memorabilia. The villain notices something is strange and he sicks his henchmen on the two intruders. The two good guys run for their life. The enemy is right on their tail and they manage to escape after they almost leap to their doom. They survive because the ropes tied to them helps them avoid the deathly fall. During the final showdown, the villain has the advantage because he kidnaps the kid. With the kids out of the picture, it's adults versus adults. The grown-ups fight and their hand-to-hand -hand combat is slower than sprint Wi-Fi. Meanwhile, the kids fall out of the bad guy's vehicle and are left hanging on by a thread. They survive, however, and instead, it's the villain that completes his epic fall from grace. At the end, they're one big happy family and live happily ever after. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps>